And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Well, tremendous point guard play, but that's nothing new coming from him. This is what you expect, the gorgeous feed there. Magic leading by 12. The backcourt is Oladipo and Fournier. Gordon out there with Kyle O'Quinn, and it's Harkless in at the three spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. Didn't that one play out smoothly? The Pistons shooting at 52% from the field. They're clicking. Prince with a screen on Oladipo. Lucas up top, guarded by Oladipo. Here's Caldwell Pope, just four to shoot. They get the rebound, Prince. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high quality shot on a follow just like he got there. Oladipo with the ball. Gordon with the screen for Oladipo. Goes back up. Here's O'Quinn. No luck, they battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. Here's Caldwell Pope, guarded by Oladipo. Lucas kicks to Caldwell Pope. Right wing, it's Meeks outside, and the whistle blows, and it's gonna be an over-the-back call here. A little over-eager right there, left his feet too early. And if you're already boxed out, you've got to try to work to get around. Otherwise, it's a surefire foul. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Vucevic checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. Fry comes in for Gordon. And it's Boss in for Fournier. Detroit also making some changes. Drummond comes in for Meeks. And it's Jennings in for Lucas. Jennings drives in. Here's Drummond. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Did you see the defense get caught standing around that time, giving up an easy second-chance bucket? Simply need more of an effort on the boards there, Steve. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Vucevic is screen on Jennings. Here's Boss. There's three pointers off the mark. Really good offensive execution. Nice pick, just couldn't get the shot to go. Boy, you love to see that as a basketball purist. Guy setting a good screen and then getting the shot opportunity. Oladipo, the pass to Bucks. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Shoots the three. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Pistons trail by 10. Here's Caldwell Polk. Prince dishes to Monroe. Second shot opportunity. Buries the jump shot. And Orlando has possession. They've led by as many as 14 points. Their next game playing at home as the Nets come into town. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. Vucevic is really a very capable mid-range jump shooter, but his post-repertoire is still a work in progress, very much so. With his size and touch, you'd really like to see him develop that back-to-the-basket game. You guys are talking about Vucevic developing inside Steve. There's also some work to do defensively. Yeah, still a bit foul-prone. He's got to follow the Roy Hibbert school of defense, remaining vertical, walling off the rim, and avoiding those fouls. Nikola Vucevic has a basketball pedigree. I mean, it's pretty impressive. His father played professionally in Europe for more than two decades, including for the Yugoslavia national team. His mother was a player as well. So you might say his DNA was set up to play the game. And both free throws good for Vucevic. And Vucevic, a growing celebrity in his native Montenegro, building on his family's basketball legacy. Yeah, Vucevic, perhaps not a household name yet in the United States, but the way he's begun his career may not be the case for long. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Boz with a strong contribution so far in this one. 
He's been locked in from deep. They're giving him too much breathing room and definitely paying the price for it. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Stan Van Gundy said to the team. He is not happy with their perimeter defense, saying, guys, way too many open shots for them beyond the three-point line. We've got to press up closer and try to crowd them off the arc. Guys, we'll see if they got the message. Prince's shot is good. Unstoppable offense from both teams. I love the pace this game has been played at. So does everybody else in the building. This has been a fun one. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. It's Jennings with the drive. And stolen by Fry. To the middle. Here's Oladipo. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. 11 points for Victor Oladipo. Pistons trail by nine. Jennings kicks to Drummond. Another shot. Trying to get open is Monroe. And that one's good. Drummond. Drummond's got four points now in the quarter. Boy, what a great job making good on the second opportunity. He stayed with that play from start to finish. Boss. He's guarded by Jennings. Harris passes to Boss. Good on the three-point shot. Boss has got ten points here in the second half. He's really picked up where he left off in the first. Caldwell Pope kicks to Drummond. The drive by Jennings. Impressive shot there, making it on the move. Yeah, that's a difficult shot in the face of a defender that towers over. But well, you know, he almost seems to enjoy those mismatches, Steve. It gives him a chance to show what a strong finisher he is. Boss, he's guarded by Jennings. Lock at six. Here's Boss. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but uh, he couldn't capitalize. I don't know if it's just me, but he's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. His shooting has really suffered. Magic leading by six. Over to the left wing. Harris dishes to Vucevic. Takes it from ten. Detroit with the rebound. Monroe's got seven rebounds in the game. Prince, the pass to Caldwell Pope. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. There it is, guys, that Ole defense. Just watching him go Clark right by. I think we might be seeing which team is ready to take control of this game. Yeah, that's a dunk that could absolutely get them going. I agree, Clark. Vucevic with the bucket. And the Magic lead by six. Defense just has to fight over the top of those screens. Especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, he doesn't miss too many open shots. Here's Prince. Offensive rebound. Here's Drummond. Foul call that time on the way up. Better give him two chances at the free throw line here. Some good numbers for Drummond. He has nine rebounds, and he's also got one block to add to the mix today. Yeah, it's just a small part of what's been a, a solid overall contribution by him defensively. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Orlando. Well, they're getting into the paint with their penetration, and it's really been key for this play. Something we've also seen them doing tonight is getting the long ball to go down. Big points from outside. the second one to drop either coming up empty that time well it's terribly frustrating for a coach when his team can't knock down their free throw I mean it really comes down to focus routine and stamina especially in the second half rebound by Monroe looks like he's just trying to shoot his way out of this cold spot I don't know about that shot beautiful work in the transition game that's how to do it attack early before the defense can get itself set Magic leading by four. Here's Boss. Just floating to the rim on that slam. Boy, when he gets up, he gets up oh. and stays up. Boy, smooth and graceful. How about the hang time? That's impressive. 
Power timeout called by Detroit. They're trailing by six. 137 left in the fourth. Thirty-seven left to play in the final quarter. Monroe sets a screen for Jennings. Here's Prince. Another miss by Prince. Orlando's getting some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. Orlando good. Now Jennings. Drummond sets the screen for Jennings. No luck. And Orlando the other way now. They've led by as many as 14 points. 102 left in the game. Here's Boss. And again, it's Orlando converted. Clock ticks down, and this is going to be a solid victory here for Orlando. Good point, Steve. And Clark, they had to battle for this one. There were times when it looked like it was... Maybe slipping away a bit, but they never let that happen, which I thought was a real credit to it. I like their fortitude, their toughness, particularly in terms of dealing with adversity. Anytime things didn't go their way, they just put their nose down and stayed with it. And because of that, they were able to pull away. And so the hard work and effort paying off tonight, putting another win in the books, that'll be win number 27. And they're going to get the second game between these two clubs, just like they took the first. This will put them up two zip with two games left to play in their season series against the Pistons. And what a huge standout performance it was for Boss. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do anything really uh, to stop it. And here's Jennings. 44 seconds left in the fourth quarter. From past the arc. Rebounded by Vucevic. Good solid defense on the perimeter there. Challenging the shot and not fouling. Even the best shooters can be bothered by his defense. To the paint. Kicks it out to Prince. And stolen by Harris. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. Man, I don't know what happened right there. He just basically walked out of bounds. So both teams making some changes here. Detroit shooting a well here in the fourth quarter. 50%. Offensive rebound. Here's Dinwiddie. And the basket good. His eyes were wide open there, guys. Excellent vision to see they had an open shot outside and get it there. There's 18 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And O'Quinn kicks to Ridenauer. So it's Orlando winning this one. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just state night sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least, here is your Jordan player of the game, Boss.